Greetings friends, it's me Al, and uh, I'm from uh, Creek Road Pottery, and I want to do this video because I just got a Olympic kiln updraft, uh, very reasonable, and I really appreciate the person who informed me, uh, one of my past professors, he thought of me, and he said, hey man, um, I know where this big kiln is, it's almost like brand new, and uh, the person is moving, and they just need to get rid of it. So I went and picked it up, and it's quite amazing. I'll show you what I got. And so this is a an Olympic kiln uh, 2831G and updraft. So at the uh, pottery here at Creek Road Pottery, that's my address. I don't run a pottery. Um, that's where the pots are made. I run a clay studio. Um, it's, it's, it's long and complex, right? <laughs> but uh, I make lots of pots here, and I was using uh, electric-to-gas updrafts for the last um, five years. That's all I fire here is gas, LP. And I really enjoy it because uh, there's so much you can do in the gas kiln and uh, to, influence, to influence the pieces as they're being fired. So, um, so I'm working on it. But... I went online to find out how to clean these uh, burners and to clean them up, and, and there's nothing. So um, if you want to void your warranty, if you got one and you want to learn how to do this by yourself, don't be scared. All you need is a crescent wrench and a pipe wrench, and you can start taking stuff apart. Uh, so what I found that I'm going to show you uh, is some rust that happens on these. Um, if they're on concrete and moisture is coming up through your floor, that can get rusted out on the bottom, right? So I'm taking this thing all apart. I This is the first time I'm doing this. Don't know anything about it. Uh, but I have worked with gas kilns before. But um, smaller burners, but not nothing like this. So I am familiar with basso valves and uh, pilots and um, thermocouples and all that kind of stuff as I worked on them before. But uh, this is a whole new thing, and I really need to clean this up because uh, there was a rat rat's nest inside of it. And... Um, some bugs got down into the pipes and I was missing, I was missing uh, four of these orifices uh, that go inside the burners. So when I, when I did a test run on it, uh, something definitely was wrong. So I don't know if it was when we flipped it over, something may have been loose and fell out, but I'm missing three. So I'm buying four and I got the thing almost all apart and I was like, oh, there's nothing on repair or working on these online uh in video anyways from what i seen on this model so i was just going to go and do it but you're going to avoid your warranty so if you have a warranty call your olympic dealer right and have them come down but there's no warranty on this because i bought them used and i am just getting it hooked up now and uh next week i'm gonna call the gas guy um a guy that i know a friend and uh he's gonna come out hopefully and help me with this so I'll show you what I got here so there's a lot of rust in here see um, I got almost all this apart so these come these come out uh, pretty easily I'm gonna repaint these so 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 these sit down in here and these screw on here like right on here Right, so you, so you so you loosen this, so you loosen this set screw right here to pull this out. And you can see how rusty these things are. And then you have your damper that screws on first. So I just confused everybody. So so your uh, your orifice your orifice will go in here. This is a 10 millimeter. Pulled it out with a 10 millimeter and 332 orifice size. Uh, Olympic has this as a number 40, so that's what that is. So, so, so this will screw in here like this until it's tight on your burner, right? This is your damper. So then your damper will go on next. Then this piece on top. Like this, 
So if these are stuck when you get them, uh, these will come right off with a pipe wrench. And this will sit down in there. So this, this needs to be flush with your pilot circle. Okay? So I got all this apart, and I just wanted to put this back uh, to show you what I am doing here. So um, what I plan to do is repaint these, sand this down, and I, I want to show you the bottom, what this bottom looks like. Uh, because if, if holes start wearing through your bottom, you're going to ruin this nice piece of equipment, and you're going to be crying tears. It's going to be like you, you blow up one of your big bulls. So, so you can see how like this in here is starting to rust. Not too, too bad, but I'm going to paint this underside. I'm going to paint the frame because I want this to last for a long time. And uh, I don't want these bottoms to rust out from sitting. So there's a bunch of holes here that you need to look out for. Can you, can you see those? Um, so when I paint this, I'm going to have to go back in and poke out all these couple hundred holes here with my pin tool. So if you're a potter, or you do pottery work, uh, your pin tool will fit right into these. And uh, you can clean them out. Also, I wanted to show the dust that came out of this. So here's the end, the end cap. The end cap that runs all the way out. And this end cap here screws on. So even on my small burners, even on my small burners here, I have an end cap. And every once in a while, you can see all this garbage. I, I blow these out. I blow it out to keep that orifice clean down in there. So that's what we're doing here. So I'm going to um, look down into these holes, blow out each one of those holes first, and then blow it out this side with the air compressor. So you can see all the dirt that came out of that already. And if you were to put this back in brand new, some of that dirt could come up through and it would plug up your new orifices that you just got. So, um, that's what I'm doing now. So today, I'm just gonna paint this. And so here, be careful with this. You don't want to uh, crimp up your thermocouple. So your thermocouple will come through and it will come out this hole right here and hang in the flame. So when the flame goes out, your thermocouple cools and it will send a signal back to your basso valve and it's a safety shutoff. It says, hey, the wind blew this out. Shut down because I don't want this kiln to blow up. So that's how that works. So I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to finish wire brushing it, finish blowing this out. And then I'm going to paint all the parts today and get them drying while I'm waiting for the new orifice uh, sections to come. The new orifice uh, inserts that go into the into the, uh, the gas outlets here. So, so that's that's how that's done. Um, so again, um, so again, like you can do this, and uh, all you need to do is start right. And it can seem like it's overwhelming, but you can just save yourself a little bit of money because if you do pottery like me, uh, you're going to be broke. Like you're you're going to look to cut costs and pass those savings on to your customers and increase your profit margins. And that's what we're trying to do a little bit here by buying used and like working on the on the many different things ourselves. So um, practice safety. Right, so, so when I put this back together, um, I'm gonna put some putty on the ends and some tape so, so there's no leaks. And, and then you take soap and you spray your joints to see if there's no bubbles, right? So, um, so if you wanna avoid your warranty and go to it, uh, clean and paint these up and they'll last a really long time. And, and just from sitting, no matter where they are, it can get moisture 
especially if they're out in some kiln shed. Like, I need to build a kiln shed here. Um, let me turn this around. Right now, everybody's out in the in the open, and I use uh, tarps to cover these up. But um, I need a kiln shed now for the new Olympic and everybody, and to hook gas in more efficiently and to be able to fire on real windy days without it, without worrying about uh, the pilots blowing out and and being in the weather. Right. So, um, thanks for watching. Uh, Feel free to subscribe, and uh, I'll be going through this build and remake, not build, uh, refurbish, yeah, refurbish, to kind of show you how things are going. And uh, so this will be uh, part one of the Olympic Kiln uh, Restore uh, 2831G. 2830. So, we're going to get this thing going. Uh, it's a huge guy. So, so I'm hoping, going, hoping to have it going by next month. Um, orders are piling up. Because I, I'm like a one project guy. Like, I just get on something and, and need to finish it. And things just pile up elsewhere. But, that's the way it is. So, uh, alright. Take care, friends. Um. Take care of yourselves and each other, and happy potting!